Hey, I'm Emily Berry and I'm from Elizabeth College. Uh, today we're here to talk to Vivian from Blue Rocket. Let's go have a chat. Vivian, what's your role here at Blue Rocket? So I'm a special effects animator here at Blue Rocket. So what does a typical day look like? At the beginning of production, we're looking through storyboards and scripts and identifying things that need special effects and designing those special effects and working with the director and our post-production team to complete special effects and make them look as exciting as possible. So what's your favourite part of being a special effects animator? I guess you're getting to make uh, one of the more spectacular elements of the, the show and having uh, input into the design of that and contributing to something that will be in the final look of the show that goes onto TV. That's really exciting and satisfying. So what are some of the opportunities of the industry that people may not realise? So animation takes a lot of time. Um, the series we're currently working on has 52 episodes and uh, also a telly movie and to complete that uh, amount of animation is taking a bit over a year. Uh, so that's quite a long running uh, project if you're employed working on it and uh, more consistent longer running work than in other areas of film and TV. So what experience and education do you have? So I went to um, fine arts school at UTAS when I finished college at EC um, and from there I did volunteering through Wide Angle Tasmania which is an organisation which helps uh, grassroots um, filmmakers to uh, make films or connect with the industry. Um, I also uh, have worked for companies on the mainland and I worked for a company that had a training scheme where you were getting trained but you weren't paying for learning those skills, you were learning on the job. So how did you become interested in special effects animation in the first place? Well, I loved um, cartoons and movies growing up and I really enjoyed um, animations like Wallace and Gromit, but uh, yeah, I loved Star Wars and special effects in that and just the, the sort of magic <laughs> of um, movies. And so I was interested in how that worked. And when I was um, coming towards the end of high school, there was more software available that you could use at home. And I think that's even, there's even more access to that today. And uh, yeah, I got interested in making my own small projects and loved it so much I wanted to do it as a job. So who's suited to something like this? I guess uh, definitely for animation you need to be patient whatever role you work in. Um, there's actually a variety of jobs that you can do within animation. Not all of them require fantastic drawing skills. Um, animators will often have great drawing skills and that's really important but uh, great organisational skills or just an interest in animation with great technical skills. You can project manage or you can um, work on the technical side of a production and that's all really important. So for someone interested in special effects animation, what kind of pathways should they be taking? I guess um, having good design skills, good general design skills and good drawing skills is really useful. Um, and having increasingly having good uh, software skills is also really useful. Um, so probably the best way to learn that is just through working through projects or doing your own um, showreel uh, with examples of what you can do. Um, there are a lot of courses out there, um, either fine art school or film schools, which might even have uh, specialised courses in different areas of animation, such as special effects. Um, and from there probably working for a company that offers um, junior programs or training programs can be a great way to start out. Um, today's been a great insight into getting some information about special effects. So this will definitely give people a better idea of what to expect in the industry.